welcome to Living Healthy Chicago. I'm Jane Klaus. We're starting today's show talking about diabetes. According to the Centers for Disease Control, diabetes affects more than 30 million Americans. And living a healthy life with diabetes is all about management. So let's meet a man who says a simple lifestyle change is what kept him on the path to good health. Davis Knight's story starts and ends with his connection to food. I am a professional chef by trade. So I have worked around food for the last 10 plus years of my life. Food was very much a, um, a source of pleasure for me. He didn't give that connection much thought until one day a health scare started him on the path to some big changes. I was driving home at night from a client meeting and I started to lose my eyesight, uh, literally on the road. Davis pulled over and eventually he went to his eye doctor. He was worried there was a problem with his glasses. The glasses were okay and the first question was, do you have diabetes? I was shocked and, and surprised by it. I had no indication at the time that there was any, any history of that in my family. A trip to his doctor confirmed his diagnosis of uncontrolled type two diabetes. It's probably the most scary thing that, I, that has ever happened to me in my life. Everything changed for me at that point. As a professional chef, I started to really struggle with the idea of what could I eat? And that's one of the biggest factors of how you manage this disease is eating better and exercising. Joining us to explain the importance of nutrition for diabetes management is Dr. Rajiv Vasavada. Doctor, can you explain what type two diabetes is? In diabetes, there is impairment in the way body regulates sugar and takes sugar as a fuel source. Uh, normally, body secretes a hormone called insulin that is necessary for sugar to enter inside the cells. In diabetes, either there is insufficient amount of insulin secreted or the existing insulin is not very effective on the cells. As a result, cells do not get the fu fuel that they need and there is extra buildup of sugar in the blood. So explain why it's important for people who have type 2 diabetes to be mindful of what they eat. Nutrition is very important in type 2 diabetes. Diabetics should learn how to read the labels on the food that we eat and try to eat food that is high in fiber since um, those are low glycemic value food and they do not increase the sugar as fast as the other types of carbohydrates do. In early diabetes, lifestyle management makes a huge difference in uh, almost reversing the diabetes. So they should be done with a lot of medical monitoring and patients checking their sugars intermittently. Most important thing is um, they need uh, proper guidance, education, monitoring, and follow-up. It is not just the sugar management that we as providers are looking at, but also the risk factors so risk factor modification includes management of blood pressure, management of your cholesterol, um, uh, getting uh, your A1Cs checked. Davis took this to heart and made some big changes to how he was eating. I virtually eliminated all sugar, a lot of white food products like white rice and white breads. I've boosted my vegetable and uh, leafy green intake, and I've also limited my high fat proteins and started moving a lot more. And that helped bring all of my numbers within normal ranges within 90 days. Using his own experience and figuring out what worked got him thinking about what other people living with diabetes must be going through. I knew immediately that if I was struggling as a professional chef with putting together meals that I would stick with, if you, for those that did not have that professional training, it had to be even harder. Very few people talk about how to do it in a way that tastes good, you know, you know, we'll, we'll tend to do things more if we enjoy the process. Davis decided to take what he learned and start his own YouTube channel, podcast, and a website called Diabetic Savvy. A place of community where they can find information, be inspired, be motivated, and, and find help and support along the way. He now hopes to inspire others living with diabetes to take charge of their health. I'm really excited in the fact that I've been able to, to keep my numbers, you know, in check and in normal. Food is not just a source of enjoyment for me now, but it's also fuel and a way of supporting my health. Be your own advocate, have a transparent, authentic relationship with your doctors and take charge. The disease does not have to define you. 
So if you like this video and you want more Living Healthy, just subscribe to our channel. We're happy you're here.